putting the tap tempo, holding that, and punching in 110, and then releasing that. This is very critical to your beat making and your beat matching. Now we've got a beat at 110. So we're ready to record. When you initially turn on Ableton, it usually has a beat of about 120. We need to match this to our Akai beat, and this is critical. Now we are at 110. Now we have to make sure that our audio track is activated. And you know that by the red highlight. And if we play a few notes, you'll see that it is active. Now I like to start Ableton first, and then after the count in, start the Akai. You'll see why later. Go ahead and stop. Now let's go ahead and clip this up so we could use it to make some beats. I'm holding the camera a little askew because it makes less artifact. So you zoom in on the beginning of the track and you see this little white marker here which denotes the start of that beat. Right click on that and then come up to set one point. 111 here, and that changes that marker. Then you grab the loop marker and bring it in. The next thing you would do is count how many measures you want and set the other two markers at that point. And I'm going to set those markers at 9, so I have a total of 8 measures in this loop. Next, next I'll right click and ask the computer to crop that sample. And now we have a perfectly built 8 bar loop which we can mix and match with anything. Now let's go ahead and play that and see how well we've done. Sounds great. Let's add some drums and have some fun. So in the browser on the left, I go to my Loop Master sample library that came with Ableton. And let's just hit any of these. Let's hit Afro Latin, open up some wave loops. And while the loop is playing, we'll click on some of these to see if any sound interesting. Let's give that a shot. Let's try another. See, it's already beat matched because of things you've done earlier. That's a cool one. So let's drag that over into a separate audio track. Drop it in, key it up, let it play. Just grab any other one for the heck of it. Throw that one up. And that's the basics of using the Akai XR20 to make loops and bring them into Ableton. Thanks. And as a second example, here's another set I built. And this one is a more jazzy feel.
get some funky jazz in there now. Fired it. Firing stuff. Do this until you find something you like how it sounds. Alright, good luck making beats.